Today, I am going to explain a movie called Colossal. So let's get started. Brian Little. The film begins by showing us Gloria, an unemployed, alcoholic, and irresponsible woman who only lived to party. And that day was definitely not the exception, since Gloria had not come to sleep at the apartment where she lived with her boyfriend Tim. And while this wild woman was sneaking around, she was discovered by Tim, who was fed up with having given her so many opportunities to change and was disappointed time and time again. And the very cynical one, far from showing remorse, gave him such a silly excuse that not even a child could believe. Tim decided that enough was enough and packed all of Gloria's things in suitcases to throw her out of the apartment. Gloria had never expected that and was shocked, so she grabbed her things and started to wander the streets. And at that moment, her old childhood friend was passing by and recognized Gloria instantly. His name is Oscar, and he had known her since they were little, and because of that great affection, he invited her to have a drink at the bar he had inherited from his family. As expected, Gloria spent the whole night drinking with Oscar and his friends from the bar. And when she woke up the next morning, she discovered to her horror that a horrible monster had gone on a wild rampage in Seoul that morning. So, not to lose the habit, Gloria, who was very worried about the situation, went to the bar again to relieve her stress with a few cold beers. And that night, Gloria got drunk again and ended up telling Oscar about the chaotic situation she was going through. And that was how he offered her a job in his bar, and Gloria, without being very conscious, accepted to work with him. But that was not the only thing Gloria missed when she was unconscious, since the monster had also reappeared at 5 past 8, which was the same time he was seen the day before. However, Gloria found out that 25 years earlier, the same monster had appeared in Seoul to go on rampages and was always seen at 8.05 in the morning. Then, Gloria was bewildered by this information and seemed to sense something as she began to watch more and more videos of the attacks in Seoul, discovering to her surprise that she and the monster had the same nervous tick, which made them scratch their heads as if they were monkeys. This seemed to be impossible, but she had to find out and confirm her theory. So after analyzing some plans and maps, she went to a nearby park, and when the clock struck exactly 8.05, Gloria raised one arm, then both, and ran to watch the news, discovering something disturbing. The monster made the same movements she had made in the park. That is, she was the monster of soul. That night, after work, Gloria was drinking with Oscar and his friends from the bar, but the alcohol was of no use to her as she could not get it out of her head that she was the monster. And that anguish, mixed with the alcohol, began to echo in her mind, making her feel that she could not keep the secret any longer. So she waited for the sun to rise to convince her friends to accompany her to the park, because she had something very important to show them. So, they got there very intrigued, and at 8.05, Gloria began to dance, and when they all saw that the monster was imitating her movements, they realized that she was the monster. However, helicopters began to attack the monster in Seoul, and Gloria felt the pain of the bullets in her body. So she began to fight against the helicopters while desperately looking for it all to end. Afterward, Oscar approached her to calm her down, and Gloria, who was heavily intoxicated, unintentionally staggered and fell to the ground. Obviously, Gloria's fall was a great tragedy for the people of Seoul, who were crushed to death by the weight of the great monster. What no one knew until then was that somehow Oscar had also managed to project his image next to the monster. He was a giant robot that was seen for the first time that night. The next day, Gloria, who could no longer bear the guilt, decided to stop drinking and donate money for the victims in Seoul. But as she still did not feel at ease, she made the monster write a message, asking forgiveness to all of Seoul for the damage caused and promising the people that this would not happen again. Then, they began to take a liking to the monster. Not long after, Gloria snuck off to the apartment of one of Oscar's friends to spend the night together. And the next morning, when she turned on the TV, she saw on the news that the robot was back, causing riots in Seoul. Then, she went out with her companion to the park, where Oscar was very drunk, and when he saw Gloria next to his friend, Oscar became very jealous and started to throw a tantrum, refusing to stop his rampage. 
So Gloria, regretting having shown Oscar that place, took action and slapped him until she got him to get out of there. Then, in everyone's eyes, the monster was a hero and Oscar looked like a complete nincompoop, which made him unhappy about the many taunts he received. So the bastard began to abuse his boss status to humiliate Gloria. And when her friends at the bar tried to defend her, Oscar picked a fight to drive them away. Then, the wretch wanted to force Gloria to drink, and when she refused, Oscar, who was very drunk, blackmailed her by telling her that if she did not drink, he would go to the park at dawn to wreck Seoul. However, Gloria did not give in and ended up throwing all the beer, which caused him to leave in a hurry to the park. Gloria had no choice but to catch up with him running, and when the time came, everyone witnessed the good smacking the robot and the monster gave each other. Afterward, Gloria threw the keys at Oscar, telling him that she would no longer work with such a despicable die like him, and the very cynical one replied that if he resigned, he would go to the park every day to crush all of Seoul if necessary, so from that moment on, both became enemies to the death. The next day, Oscar sent Gloria some furniture and objects for her apartment as a sign of repentance, but she was still very indignant, so she went to look for him to tell him that she was not interested in receiving anything from a guy like him. However, Oscar was repentant and managed to convince Gloria to continue working with him. In exchange, he promised her that there would be no more drunkenness so she would avoid committing nonsense. On the other hand, Gloria's ex-boyfriend had come to that place to recover his love, and after finding out that Gloria is working as a waitress in a bar, he got upset with her, since she was still in that world alcohol and perdition. Then, Gloria, in order to calm him down, had no choice but to take him with her to the bar, where he met Oscar, who was still acting like a lout with Gloria. But things got much worse since Oscar seemed to be jealous of Gloria's boyfriend, and after scaring away all the customers of the bar, he took out a big firecracker that he made explode in the middle of the place without warning. Then, Gloria's ex-boyfriend, very scared, asked Gloria to leave together but she decided to stay since she knew well what would happen if she left the place. And in this part of the movie, we understand that Gloria and Oscar have powers because many years ago, when they were leaving school, Gloria was carrying a mock-up with the Korean flag. At that, her mock-up flew and when Oscar found it, he began to destroy it. When Gloria saw what he was doing, she was furious and out of nowhere, a lightning bolt hit her head. And not only her, but the lightning also hit Oscar. And the strangest thing is that Gloria at that moment was carrying a doll just like the monster, and Oscar had a robot. Now, Oscar was in Gloria's apartment to make sure that she would not leave with her ex-boyfriend. And when it was almost 8.05, we see how Gloria started to fight with Oscar to prevent him from going to the park. But this scoundrel managed to escape and they both run away. Then, the time comes and Oscar knocks Gloria down with a forehand, and then starts walking perversely through the park, which meant that many innocent people were being cruelly crushed in Korea, in front of the horrified look of Gloria who was lying on the floor. Then, Gloria decided to go on a trip, and when Oscar saw her leave, he thought she had gone off with her ex-boyfriend, so he started drinking all night long, and by 8.05 the next day, he was ready to crush people again. But it turned out that Gloria was not such a coward to run away and let everyone suffer because of Oscar's arrogance. And, since Gloria knew well that she could never defeat Oscar by force, nor convince him to stop behaving so irresponsibly, she decided to travel to Korea, because she thought that by being in Korea, she could project the monster's image in the United States. And when the wretched Oscar appeared trying to trample a child, suddenly the monster appeared in the United States. Then, Gloria stood in front of Oscar and taking advantage of his large size, managed to capture him in her hand. Oscar, like the wimp he was, tried to beg for his life. But Gloria decided to throw him far away from that place. Fatality! 
the people of Korea were now free and began to celebrate that the robot had finally left their lives. And while they were celebrating, Gloria, who was still perplexed by what had just happened, decided to walk away from the mob in silence, with teary eyes, but with the peace of mind that all this was over. And that's how this movie called Colossal Ends 